was an exciting day on the island of Soho. Thomas was puffing happily along his branch line. His two coaches, Annie and Clarabelle, were full of happy children. Thomas was taking them to their annual sports day. Everything was ready for the day to begin. I hope I'm number one and win a medal, said a boy. It must be splendid to win a medal, said Thomas. I'd like to have one someday. After all, I'm engine number one. Thomas worked hard for the rest of the day, but he kept thinking about medals. He imagined himself wearing a gold medal on a red ribbon. How smart he would look. Later, Thomas was waiting at the junction when Percy arrived. Hello, Thomas, called Percy. I'm getting the medals for sports day. The fat controller says that I can stay and watch the games after. You'll get to see the egg and spoon race, shuffed Thomas. I didn't know eggs and spoons could have races. The children race with eggs and spoons, said Bertie, and the winners get a medal. I wish I could get a medal. You'll need to win a race first, silly, whistled Percy. See you later, Thomas. <laughs> I'll race you, Thomas, laughed Bertie. The first one to the station is the winner. All right, you're on, whistled Thomas. Ready? Steady? Go! Better hurry, Bertie, laughed Thomas. Then Thomas had to stop at a station to pick up the passengers. Quickly, please, quickly! What's all this rushing about? I'm not that way. Better hurry, Thomas, teased Bertie, as he raced across the bridge. Yeah, did you get that race, little Thomas? Then Bertie had to stop at a level crossing. Last one there, Puff Saltair, called Thomas. Thomas was nearly at the station, but as he drew near the playing field, a signalman flagged him down. Now Thomas was really cross. Bertie was sure to win. Then he saw Sir Topham Hat. Thomas, Percy has had an accident. Again. The Sports Day medals are still in my office. You must fetch them at once. We cannot let the children down. Of course not, sir, replied Thomas, and he hurried away. Meanwhile, Bertie had raced into the station. I won! shouted Bertie. I won! And he waited eagerly for Thomas. He waited, and he waited, and waited. But Thomas had forgotten about the race by now. He was thinking about the children. Puffed as quickly as his driver would let him. At last, Thomas pulled back into the big station. The station master gave Thomas's driver the box of medals. Then, Thomas raced away again. Annie and Clarabelle felt like they were being dragged along behind the express. Thomas's wheels began to ache, but he didn't care. I must get the children their medals. I must! Thomas 
Thomas arrived just as the games were finished. Just in time. Well done, Thomas, said the fat controller. <sighs> Thank you, sir, wheezed Thomas. The fat controller presented the medals to the winners. Congratulations. Thank you, sir. <laughs> Splendid race, Thomas. Lost to a boost. How undignified. <laughs> the next day, Thomas was resting between trains when Bertie and the medal winners arrived with a surprise for him. A small boy presented him with a gold medal on a red ribbon. Just for you, Thomas. You were very helpful at sports day. So we thought you should have a medal of your own, added the boy. My very own medal, said Thomas. Thank you, everyone. Three cheers for Thomas, the number one engine. But I still won the race, tooted Bertie indignantly. <coughs> Thomas just whistled happily.